Like many people in Zambia's countryside, the women in the Kalalushi compound in the Copper Belt province work as subsistence farmers, cultivating small holdings and selling what they grow at local markets. Now something very new has changed their lives. Green technology is giving the women new skills, improving their productivity and their quality of life. Emery, a widowed mother of seven, is one of them. She joined forces with some of the other women from the village, mostly widows like her. With the help of the ILO through the Zambia Green Jobs Program and the Zambia Homeless and Poor People's Federation, they got a loan to buy a small plot of land and were trained in green technology skills. We had on-the-job training. We learned how to build houses by actually building them. Working together, we built 18 houses in less than five months. The women learned how to build houses using handmade interlocking bricks made from green sustainable materials. The bricks don't require cement and that keeps the price down. But the new houses didn't have electricity. Zambia is currently facing an energy crisis and for most people electricity service is unreliable or non-existent. That means there is huge potential in Zambia for the development of cheap and renewable energy sources such as solar power. You can never appreciate the importance of light until when you are in darkness. So just the provision of light to low-income households is life-changing. It means kids have more access to studying, better education. It means small businesses are able to operate longer and, and more. It means quite a lot for low-income households that are not on the grid and that have never had access to light. With the help of the ILO through the Zambia Green Jobs Program, Emery and her neighbors got training to build and install solar panels on the new houses. Solar power had a profound impact on Emery, improving the quality of her life and that of her family. Now she clearly sees the advantages of using green energy sources like solar. Solar power is better than the regular electricity. When everyone else in the country experiences power cuts, we still have electricity. And solar power is the best, it's good for the environment and it's cheaper. There are many practical changes. Now instead of walking almost a mile every day to get their mobile phones charged, the families can now charge them at home using green solar power. It made a very big difference because for power, for the power lines to reach here, it could have taken another probably five to ten years. So at least now they have the opportunity to have power despite not having, you know, the power lines from, from Zesk or the utility company. Miriam is studying to become a doctor. She used to have to study using a flashlight. Uh, this is the, as in the right to use we used before we were given these solar panels. I used to use it, but it was quite difficult when it came to studying. Yeah. Dominic is 85 years old and a retired school teacher. He sees the difference the solar panels have made in people's lives. They are so much pleased. They have so my grandchildren who are school going, pupils, at night. Late in, the, late in the evening, immediately after supper, they begin writing, attending to their assignments. After successfully building the houses and installing the solar panels, the women built a greenhouse to increase their production capacity, growing more for the market and help them repay their loan. The entire experience has given them new confidence and valuable entrepreneurial and green job skills they can use on the labor market. We registered a company and we want to start making solar panels on a large scale. We are going to have jobs making solar panels. Uh, skills are very important, but of course on their own they are insufficient. Um, so the good thing about the Zambia Green Jobs Program is it's a package of support which involves uh, skills, but also access to finance, markets, policy, and the other aspects that are needed to convert the skills to employment and income. For the women of the Kalalushi compound, the introduction of green technology has not only improved their lives and livelihoods, it is pointing the way toward a brighter future for the entire community.